Of course, it's Easter. Jesus oh, yeah. is the reason for the season. <laughs> if you need a little Jesus, again, Facebook and Instagram. You want... Isn't that usually what they say for Christmas? <laughs> I, but I, mean, also... I guess, yeah. yeah. Well, to be fair, I mean, they did sort of Christianize all the holidays. So really, it's the reason for all the seasons. <laughs> right, yeah. When the yeah. Council of Nicaea got together, they're like, how about all these pagan holidays? We, If, if you can't beat them, join them, you yeah. know? Yeah, you which know, honestly, just... like the pagans know how to party, so <laughs> yeah, they couldn't All beat the them. All the pagans know how to party. <laughs> um, kidding! <laughs> what a great segue. We're just the masters of the inappropriate segue. Well, yeah, I mean, but yeah, it's also this time. There's Advent, yeah, and then Lent, and then mm-hmm. all right, uh, Easter's coming up this Sunday. Which means get your honey baked ham now, right? Oh my gosh, I bet that's going to be huge for them. We're that's what we're thinking of, honestly. Yeah, yeah, we were kind of considering is, it, taking it to my grandma's house for Easter. Yeah. Although I should really check with her and see what her main dish is going to be because I don't want to like show her up. Well, and they have <laughs> and they have lots of side dishes too. Right, right. That's that you true. Can get and you know, uh, there's really like if you want a ham sandwich, you can go to honey baked ham and eat it right there. Right. But pretty much everything else requires. Some time in the oven. A little bit, yeah. But they have some mm-hmm. great side dishes that you throw in and they take 45 minutes and <coughs> just great. Yeah. You know, though, what I really want to make this year, <laughs> I saw these, um, I saw this like recipe for deviled eggs, mm-hmm. but instead of cutting them in half and, you know, squirting the yolk in the middle, like you usually would, instead what you do <laughs> is you cut it halfway. So if this is the egg and this is the top and that's the bottom, you cut it halfway down there and then cro- crisscross it and cut it halfway down again. And then you sort of put the dollop of yolk in the middle. And then you also put a little sprig of onion on the bottom. So it looks like a tulip. Okay. Which I thought was I wasn't such tracking a good for idea. a second, but I think I got it. Yeah. yeah. I'll oh, find the cute. I'll find the picture and you can post it on the video if you want to. Okay. But like I'm so tempted to make like a bouquet of egg tulips. Cause honestly, it's First off, it's just an excuse to eat a whole egg instead of half an egg, which I love. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I also, love it sounds like it'd eggs. Be cute, you know? So good. They're so good, man. Mayonnaise well, and egg yolk and dill and mustard. What's not to love? Right. Well, and you know, so we made those pickled eggs a while ago. Yeah. And what I really want to do is I want to make deviled pickled eggs. Hmm. Wouldn't that be good? I don't think so. Oh, I disagree. I think the uh, egg whites would be too rubbery, and it might be too vinegary. But we could—I'm certainly willing mm-hmm. to try. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah, f- yeah. around and find out. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing: really, the yolks inside taste the same. Yeah, as they did before. So I feel like I feel like it's a nice way to sort of balance it out. You know, a little tart and tangy with some like creamy yolk part. It sounds good to me. So two things happening on Saturday. One at the waterfront, the great Easter egg hunt at Snake River Landing. Mm-hmm. Saturday, March 30th, starts at 930, but you want to check. And by the way, a lot of these things we'll be talking about will have links in this post, whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Mm-hmm. Uh, look for the main post, scroll down, take a look. We'll have links for these things. Right. Um, so that's more than 25,000 eggs, tons of prizes. They have different start times for different age categories. Right. And the best part is they're on different fields too. Yes. So you don't have to wait for them to like restock the field. Right. Yeah. Happening at the waterfront at Mm -hmm. Snake River Landing. They even have a hunt for special needs kids sponsored by Camp Hayden. I think it's special needs folks. Special needs folks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sponsored by Camp Hayden. That's at 1125. More information on the Facebook page. Again, link and post. Sponsored by Teton Volkswagen, ICCU, Teton Toyota, and Rich Broadcasting. Yes. Yeah. We've been yeah. talking about that on the radio for a hot minute now. So, yeah. Our buddy Don Jarrett. Mm-hmm. And, of course, 96 1 and 102 won the Wolf. Shaggy yes. mm-hmm. on the pick. I Star love Shaggy. He's yeah. so cool. K-I-D, He's such a nice Jolene guy. Thomas, Him guys. and his wife, dude. They're just the coolest people. Then, also downtown. On Saturday mm-hmm. at noon, there's an Easter bunny, I don't know, scavenger hunt. Oh, cute. Yeah. Nice. Well, and if you're going to be in downtown anyway, you should totally check out Lily's Consignment over on A Street. My good friend Natalie runs that shop, and it is, it's is—it's pretty nice. Plug, plug, plug. Mm-hmm. They were IFAF a couple weeks ago. Right. Well, and she's gotten in a lot of really good stuff lately. I actually need to go hit her up pretty soon and see if she's got some stuff for me, too. There's, what, 27 bunnies Hidden through downtown. Oh, cute. I love on that. On Saturday. Find one. 
Then you can meet the real Easter Bunny at Civitan Plaza. That sounds fun. That does sound fun. That's super cute. I might have to take my niece and nephew to that. Then the following week, we there's so many events, we thought we'd throw them all in one show, basically. Right, right. No, We're not having any fun this show. <laughs> I guess Idaho Falls loves Easter, you know? Just the facts. Well, yeah, we love it when the snow stops flying and we can go outside and do fun stuff. It's weird to see all these people coming out of hibernation. Yeah. You know, like all of a sudden the streets are just packed full of uh-huh. people. <laughs> Where'd you guys come from? Yeah. They've been indoors all winter. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Just like us. (laughs) Yeah. But probably not watching the Toxic Avenger. (laughs) (laughs) Probably not. Probably not. Maybe we'll celebrate Easter by watching Troll 2 this weekend. I I love that idea. (laughs) Let's see if we can find a musical version of that, too. The following (laughs) Friday. So next Friday, April 5th, 7 p.m. at the West Bank Event Center. Mm -hmm. It's the Chamber of Commerce celebrating 120 years... Wow. I know, right? With a uh, speakeasy soiree. Ooh la la. Or yeah. say less. <laughs> right up your alley, right? So into that. I love that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally there. <laughs> Step back in time to the extravagant era of the Roaring Twenties. Which also, we only have six more years to make this the Roaring Twenties again, and we're not doing it, and it's really pissing it's me not, off. It's not going so well. Like, why are Jinko jeans coming back <laughs> and not flapper dresses? Mm, First of all, fringe yeah. is fun. <laughs> well, you can you can wear your flapper dress to this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Tickets are forty bucks. Link and post. You know, I keep putting off buying like a really proper flapper dress, and I think it's just time. I might as yeah. well just do it. You know. Maybe we should learn the Charleston. Oh, I already know the Charleston, but I'll teach you in the next week and a half or so. Yeah. I mean, I know the song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. went straight to Chicago. <laughs> I, I know the, uh, I'm a huge fan of instrumentals. Uh-huh. And um, one of my favorites right now, since the advent of TikTok, there's been so many cheap ones by production companies right, that right. people use because they're royalty free. But mm-hmm. the big one in my mind is the one that played uh, during the, where Rick was slaughtering all the other Ricks in season five. <laughs> The last episode, uh-huh. the Citadel episode with Evil Morty, and, and it's by Blonde Redhead, and it's called Song. I love Blonde Redhead, by the way. Something something about endless coda, but yeah, it's a really it's it's the one that goes ah But I saw that in a TikTok today. Right, it's like there's that song. It's all over the place. Mm-hmm. It totally is, dude. Okay. <laughs> then next Saturday. April 6th now is what we're on. Uh-huh. The spring kickoff event of the Idaho Falls Farmer's Market. <gasps> Which I'm so excited about because I love the Farmer's Market. <laughs> Here's the vendor list. Scroll that up. Over 50 vendors welcoming in spring. We love the Farmer's Market here. And by we, I mean Carly mostly. <laughs> but I do love how it's sort of artsy-fartsy. Yeah. Which is short for, not a lot of people know this, artisan-fartisan. <laughs> But um, that'll be fun. Gives one more to tide us over until the farmer's market starts in May. You, Mike? <laughs> you be okay there, Punchy? That's <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Artisan, partisan, you. <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> that's just, it's so stupid. It fits, though. And I love it. 